Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, today we're going to be taking the leap, the jump, to root our Sony Xperia Z3. Um, although this, it's, um, it involves unlocking the bootloader, so I cannot stress enough that you will lose your DRM keys uh, for your, you know, your, your good performance in dark um, or no light, low light. Uh, your camera fun functionality will be a little bit uh, decreased, you could say. Um, also images. Like all, all that Sony uh, software enhancements will be disabled um, after unlocking the bootloader. So I would like to um, make sure you guys know this before you continue. Uh, so there is a way to restore the functions, but not the keys itself. And I might go over that um, in a later video. But today we're going to be rooting the Sony Xperia Z3, uh, specifically the D6653 um, model. But you can, I'm sure you can do it on any other one. Um, but Definitely the ones that have one SIM and not and are not dual SIM. So for your single SIM Z3, we'll start um, by checking if your phone can be rooted or otherwise bootloader unlockable. So head over to your phone and go to the dialer, and then you want to um, dial star hash star hash seven three seven eight four two three hash star hash star, and this will get you into the service info tab. So what you want to do now is tap on service info and then tap on configuration and you can see how down here rooting, uh, rooting status bootloader unlock allowed yes if that is blank or it says no you cannot continue okay so oops once you uh, have written down your IMEI number uh, that is all we need from the configuration screen so you can like exit out of that and now we're gonna have to we're gonna want to download. Uh, all of the files that we need right now so we can install drivers at the very end before we um, begin the unlocking bootloader and rooting um, this is, so it's just to save time because uh, you have to restart to do the driver installation and I don't want to open up all these tabs again so uh, you'll need to download super su um, pretty much of your choice but I would recommend chain files one so I'll leave a link in the description but if you want to go to it now it's um, download.chainfire.eu forward slash super su and just go to that it'll take you to the latest one so right now you want to just click here and it'll download and you also want to download your android tools folder uh, this is where your adb and fastbit files are stored and you want to download that so i have a link here to zippy share that will be in the more info and also you need the flash tool drivers that are included in the flash tool package but i've kind of took it out and uploaded it separately um, if you guys want me to take it down I'll be happy to, and I'll redirect them to the actual Flash Tool website. Oh, the actual Flash Tool, Flash Tool website is flashtool.info, I think. And you can download this thing, it's pretty cool. Uh, you get a Flash, um, it's kind of like the Sony Xperia Manager software, uh, but you can do more things on it. So, you'll need to download SuperSU, you'll need the Android tools um, extracted somewhere. So, the five files, I should have it here, PT. So, you'll need those five files, definitely. And you'll also need the Flash Tools. Um, fastboot drivers or just drivers uh, which I have here I'll just move that into our platform tools folder so our Android folder uh, Android tools folder <laughs> and also you just kind of want to move everything into the same place so we have our super SU our drivers and our fastboot ADB files and next we need to download a uh, recovery for our phone so this pretty much um, flashes to your kernel so the boot sector and um, you want to you can choose from TWRP or CWM uh, here where did it go uh, here um, TWM base recovery uh, and root so you can just choose whichever one you like uh, I personally prefer TWRP um, I've just been using it for a long time so I'll leave links to both of them down below uh, you can choose which one you like and here we are it's for unlock bootloader only and that's why we need to download the super su package so let's go ahead and download it okay so this is available for the d6653 and the d6603 i have the um six i have the five three and this is according to your software version number and to find that we need to go back to our phone and just go over to settings and scroll all the way down to about phone 
and then scroll down again, you get your build number and see how that there's 2301A577 on there. Uh, if it if it kind of ends in 577, then it should be alright. Uh, although if you, I, well mine matches, so it doesn't matter. Um, so download the correct one for your device, or you could brick it, I suppose. Um, this is also, yeah, I'm not sure if this is uh, available for all, what do you call it, all ROMs, because some of them only support um, uh, ASOP or like the stock ROM. But since there aren't too many ROMs out there that are ASOP based or CM, uh, it should be safe to flash it and use it on your stock one. So if we had a look at the um, Clockwork Mod Recovery one, it should be alright. Yeah, here, um, stock ROM. So, anything on that firmware, but uh, we'll, we'll just use the TWRP one. Uh, so click on this and download the one that your version is on, or your build number is based on. Okay, so while we wait for that to download, now we're going to go to the Sony developer website. So developer.sonymobile.com and you want to unlock the bootloader. It should be just here. If not, um, I don't know. Well, it's there. Or you can go to slash unlock bootloader. So this is when you will unlock the bootloader of your Z3. So down here you want to select the Z3 so you can search it. So this supports Z3 Compact and Ultra I think. And see, this also tells you if to check if you can unlock the bootloader. And But we have already. Uh, so hit continue. A valid email address. Uh, so put one in. Got my own email address now. Pretty cool. Uh, just check that. Hit submit. And it actually might need to verify email. Just head over to um, whichever email um, you use and we'll get the link from there. So now we have uh, an email from Sony that you want to proceed with the unlocking of the bootloader of your phone. Uh, just click on that link to proceed. Uh, this is uh, unique as I said, so you, um, I think you, only, you have to keep on, or oh, this is yours forever perhaps, I'm not too sure. Um, so this is where our IMEI number comes in handy and you just want to type this in. Uh, type in your IMEI, write down a piece of paper. So go ahead and type that in. Okay, uh, you got to check the terms and conditions that this will void warranty, but I'm sure they'll actually replace hardware faults, but not if you uh, mess up software. And you will, they will charge you more money. So hit submit. And that is your unlock code at the top there. Uh, this is unique per device, so I can show this out. And the rest just shows you the steps on what to do like that. So this is um, what we're going to do right now. So keep that unlock code handy, like just leave this web, uh, web page open. And I'm sure you might actually get a, um email perhaps. No. So write this down, just in case your computer turns off midway and, my pen? and um, you can't, you don't have any record of it. So go ahead and just write that down. Okay, so now we've written that down and our recovery has also finished um, downloading. So just move everything into the same folder. I'll uh, just make life a lot easier. And since we've downloaded everything and we have our unlock code, we could go ahead and close this now. And we'll sh I'll show you steps to um, unlock, sorry, install the fastboot drivers. So now to install fastboot drivers on your phone, you wanna, um, for Windows 7, I believe you can just install it um, just here without doing anything special. But on Windows 8, 8.1 and 10, You'll need to hold. Uh, you need to reboot into a special mode that um, that does not enforce driver signature enforcement. Well, yeah. Uh, so press Windows R to get up the run prompt, and you need you want to type in uh, shut down down dash s no, dash o dash r dash t and zero. So this reboot into its like uh, the options menu. So just hit OK and your um, computer will restart. Okay, so now you got to choose options. Uh, so click on troubleshoot and then click on advanced options and then click on startup settings and you just hit restart. All right, so now we, it asks us to boot into what we want. We want to boot into number seven. So press F7 and we'll reboot into a special mode. Okay, so our computer has booted into that special mode that disables um, signature enforcement for drivers. Uh, so it's a little bit slow when I'm um, turning on. So go back to where you have saved your um, f uh, flash tool uh, fastboot drivers, and from there you just want to install it. 
Alright, so I had mine in documents and flash tool drivers. So just go ahead, double click, um, accept the UAC prompt, and this is where you'll select the appropriate drivers. So check fla uh, flash mode drivers, check fast boot drivers, and then scroll all the way down to um, so Xperia Z3 device drivers, and just show, uh, check those three, uh, and then uh, hit install, and I would only Google Chrome. And this will just install everything. Uh, that's fine. Uh, hit next. And uh, this will just copy all the um, drivers to its like correct places, uh, so it can be used. And from there, oh no, oops. Uh, click install this driver anyway. And from there, uh, we need to turn off our uh, Z3. Uh, just so we can get it into its fast boot mode and we can kind of, or the computer can detect it. So with the USB cable plugged into the um, computer and your device off, you want to kind of get some coordination here. And as you plug it in to your device, you want to hold, I think it was, um, it is volume up. Silly of me not to write it down, but um, just install driver software anyway. Do it for all of them. And I believe you need to hold volume up. Okay. So hold volume up and plug it in. Now, as you can see, the LED has turned um, blue. And that is where we want to be. And our computer's already detected it and wanted to install drivers. So at this point, it should install itself. If not, uh, we're going to um, more detail on installing it manually. So, um,. Just wait for this to finish installing. Alrighty, so once your driver installation has finished, um, you just want to restart your computer back into um, the uh, your normal mode. So restart, and um, I'll be back when my computer restart. So just as the computer is uh, warming up, uh, you want to turn off your Z3, so it's all the way off, and we want to get it into fast boot mode. So you want to hold uh, volume up, and as you do that, plug in your phone like that. And it should flash a red LED and then a blue LED, as you can see there. Uh, that means it's in fast boot mode, and we just uh, play it down. And now we will go back to our um, Android Tools folder that we extracted, uh, just to anywhere on your um, computer. So I saved mine in uh, Documents and PT. Okay, so um, with that folder that you had everything in, uh, the ADB files, fast boot, you know, drivers, super SU, and the image file, uh, just makes it easier if you put it in on your C drive um, name it Android, the folder so it's easier to refer to and you have everything inside uh, so now we're able to right click and open command window here saves, off the, saves us the time from changing directories alright so now with our fastboot um, sorry our command window open you just want to type in um, fastboot devices and just to make sure that our device is in fastboot mode uh, as shown by the blue light so, at this point, we can now unlock the bootloader, which is, you know, exciting. And so this is how we're going to do it. We're going to type in fastboot, uh, dash i, uh, space 0x0fce, space oem, unlock, uh, space unlock, and space 0x. And this is where you want to type in your key that you saved earlier, um, your unlock code. And this is where you want to type it in as well. So I'll quickly do that. And so that's it. We can now unlock the bootloader. And just the warning that this will um, this will factory reset your device. Uh, I should have mentioned this earlier, but um, it does. Uh, so make sure you back up everything on your internal SD card before you continue. Uh, that way nothing will be lost. All right, so with that being said, um, we hit the enter button. So it's okay if we unplug and just reboot, it should be a uh, factory reset. Uh, this might take a little while, so um, right now it's doing its factory reset, so we have kind of unlocked the bootloader right now. Uh, so next up, we'll flash the recovery and also put the, um, and install the uh, super SU on it. So we'll be back when this is done. Alrighty, now it's um, booted up, uh, back up. All you, have, all you want to do now is to plug in your Sony Xperia Z3. And from there, we are going to copy over the 
Super SU, oh, not this one. The Super SU that um, we downloaded earlier and moved to our Android folder in our C drive. So copy that and wait while that installs its drivers. Let's just zoom in a bit. Okay, so now that the Z3 has been detected, um, just pop it over onto your internal storage just for uh, easy access. Put it, just paste it in and it'll go at the bottom. Now, once that is done, you want to unplug your device and you want to turn it off and get it into its fast boot mode. Just leave the flap open because we need it again. Alright, so now that it's off, you're going to hold volume up and plug in your um, USB cable and this should get it into its blue LED. So, with that, put that aside and we would need to go back to that folder that we had our recovery in. So, see Android and we have our D6603 um, image file and this is what we want to do first off you want to type in fast boot flash boot and then leave a space in the end and just drag in the image just like that and hit enter and that should flash uh, the, our kernel and recovery because uh, they are the same thing on the Sony Xperia Z3 they are like in the same partition uh, unlike other phones like HTC they have separate ones so you can unplug now and this is kind of where it, it gets a teeny bit tricky so you want to I still think this is right um, power on and when you see this the LED change like to purple I think we'll wait that's when you want to hold volume down I think yeah purple so hold volume down and it'll get into uh, Team Win Recovery Project 2 it's a pretty cool um, splash screen so we'll just let that um, load so it did uh, vibrate twice on a green LED and then turn into red, sorry, purple. Uh, that's when you hold volume down and it'll get you into recovery. And this is when we want to tap install and just scroll. I think you can access the, the micro SD card. So you could have put it on any card that you like and just tap, we can install the Super SU and let's swipe to flash. And we can restart the system. And that's about it. You have rooted your Sony Xperia Z3. Um, during the break time that I had between like setting it up and all that um, it did the camera quality pretty much looked the same to me so I guess if you're really picky or you like taking low light shots so if you're out at pubs all the time and you get those good uh, pictures uh, that might be a little problem for you but uh, it shouldn't matter because there is a way to restore DRM uh, the functions only uh, it's on XDR, I'll leave that down below as well if you are curious to get it or try get it working because it, um, it isn't working on every single device it's a bit of like a trial and error thing so now it's just finishing its boot and we should see Super SU in the app drawer come on there we are at the top and it might tell us to update binaries there we are so we have uh, been rooted and we'll just quickly download an app from the play store to um, check this it should be rooted right now, and um, you can do whatever you like on a rooted phone. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll, we'll just check it at the end here. Yeah? Uh, thanks for watching, and I hope you found this tutorial um, helpful in a way. Um, material design, cool. Let's verify the root. Great. And so we, you did see we do have root access. So that's fantastic. So that's how you root the Sony Xperia Z3. Um, specifically the international models D6603, D6653 and I'm sure there's another one there but I'm not too sure but those two are the, the ones that are definitely supported uh, although the lack of ROMs is sort of an issue for some people but um, just having root access on a stock ROM is even better so I hope you guys found this tutorial useful uh, if you did feel free to leave a like down below, subscribe and even share so other people can uh, view this tutorial so uh, thanks to you, uh, thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.